And those are stress, tension, and damage. Those three things don't necessarily all have to be present, but stress of some kind has to exist because everything about muscle hypertrophy, about stimulating muscle growth is about generating isolated contractions, about challenging specific muscles in a very unnatural way. If you, whereas with strength, it's about using musculature as a system, moving weights, moving resistance, moving the body. The specific goal of hypertrophy is to isolate specific nerve to muscle pathways so that you stimulate the chemical and signaling transduction events in muscles so that those muscles respond by getting larger. So there's a critical distinction in terms of getting stronger versus trying to get muscles to be larger, hypertrophy per se, and it has to do with how much you isolate those muscles. So you can nest this as a principle for yourself, which is if you want to get stronger, it's really about moving progressively greater loads or increasing the amount of weight that you move. Whereas if you're specifically interested in generating hypertrophy, it's all about trying to generate those really hard, almost painful localized contractions of muscle and strength. So muscle growth and strength. So let's say you're somebody who's been doing some resistance exercise kind of on and off over the years, and you decide you want to get serious about that for sake of sport or offsetting age related declines in strength. The range of sets to do in order to improve strength ranges anywhere from two, believe it or not, to 20 per week. Again, these are sets per week, and they don't necessarily all have to be performed in the same weight training session. It appears five sets per week in this 30% to 80% of the one repetition maximum range is what's required just to maintain your muscle. So think about that. If you're somebody who's kind of averse to resistance training, you are going to lose muscle size and strength. Your metabolism will drop. Your posture will get worse. Everything in the, in the context of nerve to muscle connectivity will get worse over time unless you are generating five sets or more of this 30% to 80% of your one repetition maximum per week, okay? So now, if you are going to divide the sets across the week, you're not going to do all 10 sets, for instance, for a given muscle group in one session, then of course, it's imperative that the muscles recover in between sessions. You might ask, well, what about the speeds of movements? This is actually turns out to be a really interesting data set.